street ahead, got my head in the game With the red light on, I'm just waiting for the change Got my head down low Okay, so I just, just found out. Just found out that Katarina Carroll, police commissioner for Queensland Police Service, looks like she's going to be stepping down. Today is uh, Tuesday, the 20th, 20th of February, 2024. Uh, the headline from ABC News, it was, it was all over the news last night, you know, her uh, her future, about her future and a bit of speculation going around this morning. Uh, Queensland Police Commissioner Katarina Carroll to discuss her future with state government. Uh, Queensland Police Commissioner Katarina Carroll has considered, she's considering leaving the role. Uh, Commissioner Carroll was appointed to the role in 2019, becoming the first woman in the service after serving as Commissioner of the Queensland Fire and Emergency Service. She said ahead of formal discussions with the state government about her contract, she would look at her options, which included not seeking an extension as commissioner. Until those discussions happen, I remain firmly focused oh, goodness, on tackling crime from every angle to keep our community safe, the commissioner said. I've been very open and upfront about the challenges and pressures being placed on our front line while they continue to rise above and deliver outstanding policing services throughout Queensland. Outstanding policing services, highest rate of police shootings, as in police shooting civilians in the land. That's the outstanding service that she has delivered. The highest youth crime out of flipping control. That's the that's the delivery. That's the service that she has delivered. The outstanding policing service. Commissioner Carroll's five-year contract is until July 8. In, in all honesty, the Queensland Labor Party, their current government, should have, they should have, in my opinion, just ditched her butt three years ago. Queensland Police Minister Mark Ryan. Now, Mark Ryan is, uh, he's absolutely deplorable as far as a police minister. He has no flipping idea, no idea. Him and Carol have been the problem ever since they both took power. So Mark Ryan said the pair speak on a daily basis and he would support the commissioner seeking a contract extension. Lord help us all, she does. Commissioner Carroll has led the Queensland Police Service through one of the most challenging periods in Queensland's history. Yeah, yeah. And she only made it worse. Continuing, says a time when police, this is Ryan speaking, a time when police played a critical role in keeping the community safe during the pandemic. And she played a uh, critical role in destroying, destroying the police service and the morale of police officers statewide. He continues on and says, under the commissioner's watch, police are undertaking the biggest recruitment drive in the Queensland Police Service's history. Well, talk about telling half a story. Yeah, yeah. Biggest recruitment drive in, in the history of Queensland Police because they've had the biggest, the biggest amount of police officers leaving leaving in droves in the last couple of years under her watch. And I would put it out there that they are leaving specifically because she has driven the service into the ground. So don't go talking up the biggest recruitment drive. Hmm. Anyway, frank and fearless advice, they say. <laughs> Precious moments. This article is just propaganda. Absolute, absolute propaganda. I'll bring it up so you can read. Look, Commissioner Carroll said she would continue providing frank and fearless advice to the government and, ad and advocate for additional resources, system improvements, and the support police need to keep Queensland safe. One way you could help keep Queensland, slave, Queensland safe is to retire, resign. Actually, if Ryan just ditched her, that'd be the way to keep Queensland safe. She says, we are committed to reducing youth crime 
through strong enforcement and bail compliance activities, high visibility policing, and a raft of intervention and prevention programs. She said an additional 10,000 people were processed through the state's watch houses last year compared to 2022, with many of those linked to our proactive high visibility police operation targeting youth crime. What? What a load of spin. We are already starting to see positive change in places like Townsville where there has been a significant reduction in property crime due to a very effective policing response. Since COVID-19, when I started to dismantle the Queensland Police Service, uh, we have experienced exponential growth in demand for policing services through population growth, an unprecedented rise in mental health matters, serious youth crime, domestic and family violence, occurrences and cost of living pressures. Just my opinion, but the sooner she is gone, the better off the Queensland Police Service will be. The sooner Mark Ryan is gone, the better off the whole state will be. Anyway, that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think. Do you think she's done any good? Tell me. Tell me if you honestly think that the police commissioner and the police minister, Mark Ryan, have done anything any good for the Queensland Police Service and the people of this state? Let me know. I'm Jay Fallon. Thanks for listening to The Slippery Slope. They just fuel the desire they will take me high.